Hello and thank you for selecting my video. I've published my video online for you and anybody else who wants to watch my article regarding the 2022 Halloween Night Curtain Riot. I would like to share with you my small article about it. The Curtain Riot was reported was a reported incident that happened on Halloween night 2022. <clears throat> it was reported that a large group of youths aimed fireworks at riot police with shields and lit several fires on various roads within the Curtin housing scheme, notably Balgowan Avenue and Gilburn Road. It was also reported that vandalism took place that evening as well. In a news photo, there appears to be people standing on the roof of a car and the news reads that windows of a nearby school were smashed as well that night. Curtin Housing Scheme is situated on the north edge boundary of the Scottish city of Dundee. That Halloween night I was driving the Curtin buses and I witnessed a firework ricochet off the road in front of my bus. I also witnessed lots of crowds on Gilburn Road, fire engines and police, riot police with their shields. I also saw a helicopter flying above with its spotlight shining down on the Bully Square area of the Curtin housing scheme, where I saw some fires. I have read several comments describing the incident as something like a, something out of a war zone. In my next clip, I have some footage I'd taken during that night in Curtin. We're on at Curtin, 31st October 2022. Right, police and everything were there earlier on Gilburn Wood. Helicopter in the air, Captain has the fires. Fireworks getting set off. Shining the spotlight down on it. Some sort of riot going on at Curtin Gilburn Road. There's a fire in the middle of the road as well, let's see if we see it at the bottom. Gilburn Road, Petal Bones, Police is just up ahead there. Just the Curtin riot that Halloween night was reported to have kicked off around about tea time and lasted well into the night. By midnight, when I finished my shift, I drove back up to Curtin in my car and I took some footage of the aftermath. I saw police and fire engines around which used the nearby St Paul's School as a kind of command centre. The riot had ended at this point. In the, the next clip, I have some footage I've taken of some of the aftermath. Uh, police is just up ahead there. It just seems to be under control now anyway. It looks like there was bins in that or something set on fires in the road. The police in that there as well. Just 
so it's more debris on the, the, the roads as well in the car park oh, that would have been set on fire I don't know this road was closed for a while it's open now it's just open now get all we can go to the curtain That's still steaming hot there. You see that as it's steam. It's still smouldering, it's still hot. There's a big fire on the road. Set the basically little fire in the middle of the road. There's lots of debris, fireworks left. And as you say, this is just the 31st of October. Who no knows what it'll be like on, Hall uh, on Guy Fox. So it's just the smouldering, the smouldering uh, fire that was on the road earlier. I saw this one. Uh, the bags are rubbish and there's just like the small fire up there, there's nothing much, I'm just putting out this is Amboston Avenue it's the middle of the night now it's, it's uh, just after midnight The fire's out now. This is Bewley Crescent. So that's just what I passed. There's stuff in the middle of the road. This looks like a scooter or a motorbike actually. Remains of a motorbike, but it's probably better. Sizzling hot. This is a really, really crescent. Curtain. I've lived in Dundee all my life and in all my 47 years here I find the incident rare for Dundee to have such a riot to have reported to that magnitude. That may be something one may expect to have happened during and before and during the 1980s and early 90s, 1990s when times may have been regarded to have been rougher regarding gangs of youths. It is, it is not clear to me what sparked the riot off, but I heard that as a result the nearby as the supermarket stopped selling fireworks thereafter as a precaution against another incident with fireworks on the upcoming Guy Fawkes, Guy Fawkes Day. 
There was also a lot of police patrolling the streets of Kirtenhausen scheme for days following, following the riot. The Kirtan 2022 Halloween riot made news on a national level. Apparently some people had been arrested in connection with the riot, according to some online news articles. On Guy Fox night, 5th of November, I briefly went to Kirtan to see what was happening. There were no reported incidents like riots that took place, to my knowledge. I did see lots of police and police camera vans going about. I hope you enjoyed my short video and if you wish you could comment, like or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.